Hey everyone, it is Jim here, and I was all excited to film some stuff. I had a cool video idea, and I was going to be using this guy, but there's one problem. The amp is powered on. It sounds like the volume's almost off. Problem is, it's not. So, I had just rigged up the new pedal board, and I decided I was going to change some things around. I have the Quad Cortex being powered by the Chiox DC7 power supply. It's powered on just fine. I'm getting signal. Let's try and figure out what's going on together. All right, guys. When you are troubleshooting a pedal board issue and you're having no sound come out, the first thing I like to do is disconnect everything, basically. So, as you can see, this is not connected. Neither of these are actually connected. They're powered up because there's power going to them. But going into the quad cortex is just my input right here for the guitar and the output right to the amp on a preset that has nothing on it. So in theory, it really would just be good to go. You can hear that faint, really low signal. In the quad cortex, another thing I like to do is on digital gear, you can monitor the input levels that are going in. It's going to be right there. So that's just fine. That's not a problem. The output, do the same thing. So it's not there. Now, you might be wondering, well, maybe it's the cable that's going into the amp. Let's see what that does. I'll turn the volume down on the amp just so I don't blow out the microphone. Okay, so that eliminates that from being a possibility. So the cable going out to the amp clearly works. What about this purple one? Maybe it's the input cable that's going into it that is the problem. Let's unplug the green guy. Okay, so now we have concluded. Sorry, it's a little out of tune. Um, we have concluded it is neither of the cables and it's not the amp. So the amp works just fine and the cables work just fine. This is where things get dicey. Oy vey. And I'm actually solving this in real time as I'm filming this because I figured why not. The only other thing that's different in this rig, and like I said, there's no other, there's no other connections as you can see. The effects loop is all completely unplugged on the quad cortex. And when we go to our main sign here, I'm not using anything. It's literally just input one and output three. So it should just give me a straight clean signal. However, we're we're not getting anything out of it, even though the quad cortex, cortex is registering the signal in and out at an acceptable level. So there's one thing I haven't tried yet. Power off the unit. Now I have tried rebooting it and that didn't do anything. However, I do want to see if this is going to do it. This is the original Quad Cortex power supply. Now this would be very interesting to me if it works fine. Because the Chiox DC7, there's a little flashing indicator which I'll, I'll show you a close up of at some point. Maybe on the screen I'll take a picture and post it afterwards. but. Even with all the pedals turned on and running, it was still only at 40%, so it was at the green, so this power supply isn't being pushed whatsoever. Yep. Perfect. Okay. That means it's the power supply. Alright, well we figured out what the problem was in this instance, and if you're troubleshooting your pedal board, I advise doing similar things to what I did. The first thing we didn't film, which was I went pedal by pedal to make sure that there was no one pedal or one cable that were connecting any of the pedals that might have been causing the issue. I disconnected any effects loops, sends and returns on both the amp and you know the actual devices themselves. I tried to make everything as simple as possible because when you're doing troubleshooting, you want to start with just the baseline. So in the case of the baseline here, it was cable from guitar into quad cortex, quad cortex cable straight into the amp. And since the issue still persisted even with just such a simple setup, the only other thing it could have been that changed was, like I said, the power supply. Now this is very confusing to me because the power supply itself does have a percentage used indicator and this is still in the green, meaning it's 40% or less of the overall output is being used even with all four of the pedals being powered on simultaneously. So 
I'm gonna tag Neural DSP, even though I don't think this is them. Um, Chiox, this is a very expensive power supply. It's a $230 power supply. So I would expect, I, I, I just, I really don't understand it because I would think if the power supply wasn't giving it enough power here, that the quad cortex wouldn't function and at all or power on or reliably work and yet it does so i don't know back to the drawing board i guess this kind of one power supply to do the marshall drive master the quad cortex and the two strymon pedals is just not in the cards i might have to stick with the power adapter from the neural dsp quad cortex separately and power my other pedals through the chiosks but yeah that's that's really expensive power supply to power three pedals. However, that's where I'm going to be. Where I'm going to leave you guys. Like I said, I'm going to reach out to these guys and see if I can get some answers and stuff like that. But I've seen other people have success with this exact rig and even more as far as daisy chaining their DC7s to get more power out of them. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, take you guys through the process of you know, trying to figure out how a problem can be fixed. But that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Labor Day, where if you're an American, if not, just enjoy the rest of your day in general. Take it easy, everybody.